Welcome back to my trailer build project. I'm finally getting back to it. It's probably been six or eight weeks since I've done anything on it. Uh, we went on the vacation and we got back. We had some other things to do and then we ended up moving. So it really slowed me down on my project. But I'm finally getting back to it and I'm going to start off today by stripping. But not personally. I'm going to strip the trailer, which sucks. So I've got my ARG shirt on because it sucks. But anyways, I'm going to strip this down so that I can varnish the siding and the trim. And so I'm going to pull all the trim strips off. The thin strips are going to, I'm going to pull all those completely off and varnish them a darker color. And then the siding mostly is going to stay up and I'm going to make that a lighter color. So it's going to stay fairly light on the walls to keep the light in the trailer good. And then the, the strips will be just a little darker for accent. So I have to pull down the, the frames for all the beds. I got to pull all that out um, so that I can pull those strips off and get them varnished separate from the walls. And while I'm into this wall over here, I'm going to pull these two pieces of siding off. The rest of it's going to stay on. The big panels are going to stay on. But these two pieces are going to come off so that I can put the window in this wall while it's down. Because I can't see right now the exact edges of my uh, uprights, the pillars for the walls. So I'm going to get on to stripping this trim down. And then we'll varnish it and hopefully get most of it back up. And then I'll, get, I'll have to order a window once I can see the exact size I need to measure um, for the interior of it. I can see the exact size and I can order a window before I get that back in there. So I've got the siding off of this side where I'm going to put the window in and I've got all the trim off. I really wish I hadn't put so many screws in it. It took a long time to get all that off. Kind of. Not particularly long, but either way. Um, so now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to sand all the rough spots off of this that kind of got dirty or damaged while, while we were on our trip. I really wanted to do that beforehand, but it just didn't work out. So I've got some damage on here. And it's a camping slash cargo trailer anyway, so that's life. So I'm going to do that. I'll varnish all this. Varnish the front. Clean it all up. And then I'm going to take those aluminum siding strips, just sand them down and spray paint them some color that kind of matches my siding a little bit, and maybe light tan or something, so it'll look nice. And over on this side, I'm going to put a window in. I don't like, I was originally thinking like a 24-inch window, but a 24-inch window would only go about here, which I think is too small. So I'm going to go with a 40-inch window, which will actually go from this beam to this beam. So I'm going to have to cut two of these out. And I'm probably going to put a support bar in here. But I'm going to cut them out to see how rigid it is or see how rigid the window is before I do that. I may not need the support bar at all. So I'm going to have a 40 inch by 24 inch window. So it'll be about this big and about that wide. It'll give us a lot of nice light in here. And, and that should work out really nicely. I'll probably, while I've got all this stuff out, I might have to do the roof here too with the, the white plastic I was going to put up here. I still have to decide whether I want to do that at all. I might just leave it with the, uh, with the uh, aluminum or the, with the foil cover. It's cheaper and it works fine. So I'm gonna get on to sanding this down and then tonight I'll order that window and get that on the way. Okay, so I'm ready to varnish it now on the interior here. I rolled up the floor. The floor was only glued on around the edges and it was kind of bubbling in a few spots. So before I put everything back in, I'm gonna glue the whole floor down so it's all smooth and flat. Because the only place it really had a lot of glue on it was like that front edge and this back edge. So I'll get that, all that old glue cleaned off and then I'll glue the whole floor down nice and flat so it's clean. But uh, what I've got for painting, I've got a cheap paintbrush I can use for, for the, uh, the siding and then I can just throw it away when I'm done. I've got some paper towels to clean up with. And here's the stain I'm gonna use. I've got this black cherry um, varathane for the small trim pieces. And I've got this natural color varathane for the siding. So the siding will just get slightly darker from being wet, but not much. And it may, it may stay pretty much close to the same color. And so I'm going to get onto that. I've also set up a fan in here. I'll turn it so it's blowing out the door. And that way I don't get uh, gas down. <music> time for another semi-pro tip. I worked for a paint, uh, well, a sign maker for a while, 
and uh, he did a lot of painting and he told me about this wonderful tool that the government designed and built specifically for painters. It only costs a quarter and it works perfect for opening a can because it is a quarter. Just put it under the rim of your paint can and it just pops the can open just as super clean and easy. Doesn't damage the edge of the can and everybody's got one. Semi pro tip. Sometimes when applying darker stains like this, a, an old rag will work better to wipe this stain on with than the brush. I was trying to brush it on, it wasn't going on there very smooth for me. And also, if you don't want your hands to be stained for the rest of the foreseeable future, wear rubber gloves. I don't really care that much, I probably should, but uh, I'm have some dark hands for a little while. Darker stains have enough pigment in them to leave noticeable streaking if you don't get the paint or the stain on evenly. You can see here where the edge of my rag went along. I've got a little thicker layer of the stain on there. The nice thing about the, the rag is you can just rub the whole thing with the rag and even out that streaking to make a nice even finish. <laughs> As you can see, I've got the flooring reinstalled. I took the old glue off and I put this out in the sun and got it nice and hot so it's really soft. I laid it back on the floor and now it's nice and smooth on my floor. It's not glued down yet. Uh, I'll do that a little later on. I'm just going to fold half of it up, glue that half, and then I'll fold the other half up and glue that half so it stays where I've got it now because all my old holes line up. I put a couple pieces of the trim back up here. You can see the verticals there and then the bottom of the front and, and these pieces so that I can kind of see what it looks like. And now I'm going to get on and put some of this metal on here. But I'm going to leave this side still clear so I can put in my window whenever it shows up. It got delivered to the wrong house, and so I'm trying to get that resolved. And as soon as that shows up, I'll start installing this. I am going to get some one-inch square tube, and I'm going to put it here where the window, top of the window and the bottom is. So that I'll have a box that's nice and strong and that I can screw to for the window to be solidly attached. And that way this wall is not too weak because I'm going to take out two of these uprights and I don't want to weaken the wall too much so I'm going to do that and uh, I'm just hoping that window will show up here pretty quick it's been uh, two weeks